Hey fellow Dashers, it's Dean again here to talk about some news that I learned of recently having to do with McDonald's. So there's a couple of things that you should know that has been going on with McDonald's as far as uh, contract negotiations with DoorDash and also a change made to their pickup policies. Now for a lot of you new guys out there, you probably don't know this. If you just started, you wouldn't know that this was a thing for a while, but I know that you senior Dashers have seen this before, that McDonald's never allowed for stacked orders. Whenever you got an order from McDonald's, it was only one order. It was never stacked with itself, uh, you know, two orders from the same McDonald's, and it was never stacked with another restaurant. And that's because McDonald's had an agreement with DoorDash to not allow for stacked orders when it involved the McDonald's order. Why? Probably because McDonald's even knows that their shit doesn't stay warm for more than two minutes. You know, a lot of times you go to pick up these orders, they've been packed, let's say, a minute or two ago, they're already cold. So they definitely don't want the food getting really, really cold if you have to do two orders at once and then you have to stop by somebody else first. So I'm imagining that's one of the reasons why they decided to do that. Uh, maybe they thought that also by doing two orders that there would be excessive delays and they didn't want the reputation of their delivery service being delayed or taking much longer than it should. So McDonald's never actually allowed DoorDash to throw two orders at once uh, at a pickup from McDonald's. Now here's the catch, right? So the other day I went to go pick up from McDonald's and I was waiting a couple of minutes for the order and it just so happened that the uh, corporate, uh, she's a corporate representative for a couple of restaurants in that area and she was doing some work there. So we started talking and one of the things I mentioned was the ability to do stacked orders at McDonald's and she said, what's that? And I said, well, that's when you get two orders at once, you know, either from the McDonald's or McDonald's and other restaurants, basically two orders going to two separate uh, customers. She's like, you know what? We just started doing that. And I said, no, you didn't. I, I come here all the time. She goes, no, this just started a couple of days ago. Uh, now you can pick up up to two orders at a time from McDonald's. And I, at first I didn't believe her. I mean, I, I believed her. I just didn't see it for myself. And then later on that day, I got a stacked order from McDonald's. And it was like, like a unicorn, right? It just came out of nowhere. And I went, holy shit. There's actually two orders here, but I didn't take it because it was a crappy stacked order. It wasn't very much money and it was like five miles away. And I just didn't do it, right? But I did get to see it for myself. So first piece of news, great news I think for Dashes, I think you're gonna like this one, is that McDonald's is now allowing for uh, multiple orders, two orders at a time from a McDonald's as a pickup. So, uh, and just to give you one example of something. So one day I go to pick up at McDonald's, uh, I walk in, there are two separate bags, uh, two separate orders and so I picked up mine and it was only going like a half a mile away to this this neighborhood that's nearby and I dropped it off and then I go uh, I start to head back towards that area and I got another McDonald's order like that went back to McDonald's it was the same bag that was just sitting there when I was there the first time going to the same neighborhood and I used to think this is fucking ridiculous why didn't they just give me both orders there would have been this one would have been there already now it's been sitting here for 10 minutes so thank God they're finally doing that, okay? So that's a great thing. Second thing I wanna talk about about McDonald's is this new contract negotiation. If you haven't heard it so far, uh, DoorDash and McDonald's have renegotiated their contract on how the commissions uh, are gonna be, but also uh, in the way that it's gonna benefit the Dasher kind of based on uh, DoorDash punishing McDonald's uh, for late orders or for incorrect orders, uh, mostly for the driver's sake, it's gonna be uh, a punishment for orders that are over the pickup time. So here's an article from the Wall Street Journal that will describe that situation. DoorDash Inc. will raise its fees on McDonald's Corp restaurants that are slow to prepare orders in an effort by the delivery company to improve efficiency and cut losses. The delivery service, which earns money by charging restaurants a commission on every order, and separately charging customers a service fee, agreed to lower its base commission rate for McDonald's U.S. restaurants, according to summaries seen by the Wall Street Journal. DoorDash will charge higher commissions to McDonald's restaurants starting next year for orders that keep a delivery driver waiting. DoorDash also negotiated for each McDonald's store to cover the cost of refunds caused by restaurant mistakes, such as when the kitchen packs the wrong burger or forgets the french fries, after guest complaints reach a certain threshold. Some McDonald's franchisees have raised concerns about the penalties tied to performance as they struggle with the staffing shortages that can slow things down. 
And you see, that's absolutely true because there's a lot of uh, restaurants, including McDonald's, that have staffing shortages due to the whole COVID pandemic and don't really even have uh, the staff to cover their own in-house orders, let alone all the, the delivery app orders, including DoorDash. DoorDash's latest deal with McDonald's shows how aggressively the nation's largest food delivery app is pushing to shave seconds and cents off its deliveries. Industry executives say that McDonald's stands to gain from DoorDash's reduced commission rates, while DoorDash can protect its margins on orders the restaurant delays or makes an error on while preparing. DoorDash lowered the base commission rate that McDonald's will pay on orders from non-subscribers to 11.6% and the fee on orders from Dash Pass subscribers will be 14.1%. The previous rate for both was 15.5%. So what they're going to do is they're going to start uh, for whether the, uh, the DoorDash customer is just a willy-nilly customer or for those customers that are Dash Pass customers. They're going to lower the uh, the initial amount that they're going to charge as a commission to McDonald's. But here's the catch for DoorDash and McDonald's. Here's the agreement. As DoorDash surpasses three minutes from the time that the dasher arrives till the amount of wait time that goes by before that order is completed, for every minute that goes up, the commission rate that McDonald's will have to pay will also go up, right? So here's the rest of the explanation for that. When a driver has to wait more than four minutes, the rates start to climb, reaching 17.6% on orders from non-Dash Pass subscribers that take more than seven minutes. The rate on Dash Pass subscriber orders that make drivers wait more than seven minutes will gradually rise to 20.1%. DoorDash can see couriers on the job via location services and starts the clock when they are 25 meters or roughly 80 feet away from the restaurant. The wait time commissions are slated to begin in 2023. So if you look at the screen right now, you will see the graph that shows uh, how McDonald's is going to get punished for every minute that it takes up to uh, seven minutes and up. So as, if you can see, for Dash Pass subscribers, the commission starts at 14.1%. And once they go above three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, you'll see that it gradually goes up, the commission rate goes up. So what this means is, what does this mean for you as a Dasher? This just means that hopefully, because each McDonald's franchise restaurant will not want to lose money because of delayed orders, that hopefully they will come up with systems specific for their restaurants that will allow them to get the orders ready for longer. Uh, a lot of you know, McDonald's is either hated or loved by Dashers. I have a McDonald's that I go to every day. I deliver some days. I deliver nothing but that one that one McDonald's because they keep coming nonstop all day long. They're not a lot of money, but they're anywhere between five and seven bucks. But I can do three to four an hour easily with that one McDonald's. They're very efficient. They have a, a large crew. They're never more than a, a minute or two late uh, past the pickup time. The pickup times for McDonald's are always really too short anyway. But uh, there are McDonald's that I've picked up from where I've been at for 10, 12, up to 15 minutes waiting for an order from McDonald's, which is completely unacceptable. So now for those restaurants that have delays like that regularly, they're going to get punished by DoorDash having to pay a higher commission fee. So I guess as a Dasher, it's good because a lot of the McDonald's around the country will start to find ways to get orders ready faster so that we won't have to wait as long. But I guarantee you, there's going to be restaurants that decide that the amount of money in staffing that they would have to pay for to get orders ready will actually exceed the few percentage points that they are suffering at a higher commission rate by making you wait an extra couple of minutes. It may be cheaper for them to just take the hit on the commission than it would be for them to pay an extra staff member or two to actually work specifically on DoorDash orders or wherever how that may be. Now, for those McDonald's orders that are late and they do pay a higher commission rate, DoorDash is going to make money off of that. Guess what? You're not, right? If I'm there for 11, 12, 13 minutes waiting for an order, great, DoorDash made more money. I don't, right? I'm just wasting my time. So there's no benefit in the Dashers for the Dashers staying there extra time. But again, let's hope that most of the McDonald's out there that you guys are picking up from will actually reduce their pickup time due to that situation. Okay, so uh, this uh, hopefully will be good for all of us. All right, so 
Uh, for now, I just wanted to give you guys the information about McDonald's, especially the fact that uh, they are now doing stacked orders, which I think is great. I think we're going to make more money with McDonald's that way, and uh, we'll see, okay? Anyway, uh, I will talk to you guys next time. Have a great dash. Until next video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and I'll see you next time.